Have you ever dropped your phone from 2.2 meters high, taller than most refrigerators, and watched it hit concrete, only to find the screen completely intact? That's not luck, that's engineering. Welcome to The Making, where we dive deep into the manufacturing processes behind everyday technologies. Today, Gorilla Glass, the invisible armor protecting billions of devices worldwide. But how do you transform ordinary sand into a sheet of glass that can withstand the chaos of daily life? Let's step inside the factory and uncover the remarkable science behind this modern marvel. Before Gorilla Glass, phone manufacturers faced an impossible choice. Plastic screens? Shatter-resistant, but scratched like sandpaper. Regular glass? Crystal clear, but fragile as a wine glass. In 2006, Steve Jobs knocked on Corning's door with a challenge. We need something better than plastic for the iPhone, and we need it in six months. Corning dusted off a 1960s technology called ChemCore, and embarked on what would become one of the most crucial material breakthroughs in consumer electronics. Everything starts with sand, but not just any sand. We're talking about silica sand with 99.99% purity. At Corning's facilities, engineers create a precise recipe mixing four key ingredients. Silica forms the foundation, aluminum oxide adds strength, Magnesium oxide provides flexibility, and sodium oxide lowers the melting temperature. This mixture is heated to a staggering 1700 degrees Celsius, hotter than volcanic lava, until it becomes molten glass flowing like honey. Here's where science meets artistry. Instead of pouring glass into molds, Corning uses their revolutionary fusion draw process. Picture this. Molten glass flows into a V-shaped trough called an isopipe. As the trough overflows, gravity pulls the glass down both sides. The two streams meet at the bottom point and fuse together in mid-air, creating a continuous sheet. The magic? The glass surface never touches anything solid during formation, ensuring absolute smoothness. The result? Glass sheets thinner than a business card, some as thin as 0.25 millimeters, yet larger than two king-size mattresses when needed. Now comes the transformation that gives Gorilla Glass its superhuman strength. The process has three key steps. First, glass sheets are immersed in a molten potassium salt bath at exactly 400 degrees Celsius. Then, small sodium ions in the glass migrate out while larger potassium ions move in to replace them. Think of it like this. Imagine replacing marbles with golf balls in a tightly packed box. The bigger ions create tremendous compression at the surface. This compression layer is only 50 micrometers deep, thinner than human hair, but it's enough to stop cracks from spreading and give the glass incredible impact resistance. The performance numbers are impressive. In drop tests, Gorilla Armor 2 survives falls from 2.2 meters onto concrete. That's higher than most people are tall. For pressure resistance, it can withstand hundreds of pounds of force without cracking. And when it comes to scratches, Gorilla Glass 7i is twice as resistant compared to competitive materials. The most impressive fact? At just half a millimeter thick, about six sheets of paper stacked together, Gorilla Glass is stronger than steel of equivalent weight. Today, over 8 billion devices worldwide rely on Gorilla Glass, from smartphones to laptops, tablets, and even automotive windshields. Corning continues pushing boundaries with flexible glass for foldable phones, antimicrobial glass for healthcare, ultra-thin curved glass for automotive interiors, and even self-healing glass currently in development. The goal? Create glass as thin as a human hair, but as strong as diamond. The fusion process can produce precision glass in sizes larger than a king-size bedsheet and thinner than a business card, enabling everything from massive TV displays to flexible smartphone screens. 
As devices become more sophisticated, think foldable displays, curved screens, and invisible interfaces, the fusion draw process continues evolving to meet tomorrow's demands. The next time your phone survives an accidental drop, remember the incredible journey from sand heated to 1700 degrees Celsius, through mid-air formation to molecular level engineering, all to create that invisible shield in your pocket. From laboratory to your lifestyle, that's the remarkable story of the making.